Welcome to another day in the uh, big city of New York. And um, I'm Chris, and this is day three. I know it was day one yesterday, but I counted the tra uh, traveling, doesn't count. So I'll correct it now, so it's not confusing in the titles. Uh, welcome to day three. Uh, today's pretty full. Uh, today we got a, a show called uh, Meet Second City. So that should be a good, a good, a good day. Um, but yeah. So I'm gonna go eat some breakfast and. Okay, so I want to show us our room. Uh, we turned it into a boys' room real quick. Yeah. <laughs> we saw <laughs> over fast. Oh my gosh! I almost. Uh... <laughs> okay, it is still recording. I'm so proud. Uh, yeah, we got shoes everywhere. Yep. I'll show you what's in the shoes because Matthew did it smart, and he put fresh fresh near balls in the the shoes. Yeah. Just nice from Walmart. Look at that smart man, and I got him in my shoes as well. So yeah, they're, they're. I got them in Let's mind, see. but I don't want to show them. You see that ball? Yeah. It broke. Oh shit, it came <laughs> <laughs> I gotta do this real quick. Uh, <laughs> no, I didn't want to break it. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Okay, we're good, we're good, we're good. Chris, Chris is that? the only one who's broken them. But this yeah. is what they look like when they're opened up. Supposed to, anyway. There's a little fresh air thing inside there. I went all ape mode and this like snapped right open so I can smell it. And it's it smells like really good. Suckers like walnuts. Oh yes, and we got bags all along here. And we still have our freaking pizza boxes. Did you finish your pizza? Under the TV. How dude is it? Pizza like this. How much of a dude are we to put pizza boxes under the TV and not figure out where to put them right away? But yes, messy best boxes. But hey, it's not stinky in here at least, okay? Yeah. And we got King Kong. <laughs> Our, man. <laughs> Our man King Kong, just destroying things. Got so it. yeah, I did sleep well last night. Uh, but this problem is Ryan's phone freaking froze and we woke up, luckily, not too late. I told you, my phone's dying and needs a replacement. Mm -hmm. So poor man had technical difficulties loading his video too. Um, so yeah, he needs to get a new phone. I really want a new phone. My, well, mine is dying. Get this one. This one's great. It has I a, want that it has, phone. It has a pen. It and has it's a really beautiful camera. And it has a built-in stylus, which is a thing I want. Stylus it is great. Fingerprint sensor in the screen, which I want, because my phone's fingerprint sensor broke two years ago. I, yeah, I want a new phone. Yeah. My phone is great. And it's creating great content for you guys. So yes, uh, I think we're just heading out. Uh, had a, my cleft bar for breakfast. I might grab a fruity on the way out, you know. Fru uh, fruit, apple, banana, whatever's not apple rotten. <laughs> Sir. Uh, <laughs> 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 All right, so I'll see you uh, in the next one. Damn, bro. Why is it alive? Because Apparently I ate a banana and it reappeared. No, I was, we're talking about- Why? We're talking about this banana and he's like, I already ate it. This is just I, our sacred banana. Sacred banana. Sacred. Sacred banana. But like- Matthew. Sacred banana. Sacred banana. Sacred banana. Sacred banana. Sacred banana. Sacred banana. Hobo two. Hey. Hobo 2, e. sacred banana. Who's Hobo 1? Matthew? Me. Sacred. He's Hobo 3. <laughs> sacred banana, Keisha. Mm, no. <laughs> <laughs> sacred! Oh, okay. Apparently, not everyone is about the sacred banana. Heretics. Are you about the sacred banana and sacred banana? <laughs> sacred banana. I do not care. Sacred banana. 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 I already ate a banana and one appeared. And they're saying that it's my banana. It's not but are you? <laughs> are you a follower of the sacred banana? I don't know. Shark bait. Oh! Don't do it. Don't do it! You'll know this. Don't do it. Don't you, you don't kill know, it. You don't know the consequences of what can happen if you do it. Ah! We're gonna die today. You're gonna be down if you scream like that. Yes. <laughs> 
<laughs> we are now <laughs> cursed. <laughs> okay. <laughs> to the road. It's not HBO Studios, it's the Apollo we're getting a tour of. So that's exciting. And Billie Holiday, what is this? And we're stepping on some celebrities on the sidewalk. Feel the pounding of that steel even today. It stays with you. Uh, on hot nights, I can fall asleep remembering that soothing, bone shaking rhythm. <coughs> Frankie could tell which box cars were empty, full, half full. She could tell it was in them just by whacking them with her fist. She could hear the yard bulls coming a mile off. She could hear their keys rattle. She could, she could sense their dim. Nasty thoughts. Right in the brain since Frankie was like having my own private railroad. We were completely empty handed. We had nothing. We were free. Hi, I'm with, uh, what was your name again? Billy, Billy, Mr. Apollo Mitchell, and I'm here with Christopher. Uh, we, he's here for a tour of the Apollo Theater. And during the tour, we have a little mock amateur night, a little talent show. And Christopher just did a monologue that blew me away. I'm very confident that given the right opportunities, you will hear and possibly see him either on Broadway or in the movie or somewhere on a commercial. He has what it takes. He's going to work on it. He's going to dream big, but he's just going to work even harder. So I'm so very proud of you. You, you have motivated me, man. Thank you, I'm brother. So, I'm so, can I give you a hug? Of course, brother. I do believe in hugs. Ah, uh, my man, my man. Yes. Stay well, everybody. Peace. <laughs> That's sweet. All right. All right. We just finished our tour at Apollo Theater and uh, our guy at Mr. Apollo was the one giving us the tour. It was amazing and incredible history of the of the theater and my man wants to get in this picture. What do you think, buddy? Of the of the thing? Yeah. It was I incredible. Loved him. I loved him. This man's uh, the coolest man I've ever met. I did a, a monologue there from our 359 show. It went well, and we all did a choir piece. We did. So that was amazing. I didn't um, get to do it well. Uh, like, we had a set section for doing little performances. I didn't do it there. But at the end, I went up on, on the stage and did Henry V's Once More Onto the Breach. It was great. It was a, the, the acoustics are beautiful in that room. Oh, yes. And yeah, we got to see the Wall of Fame, and a lot of famous people got their start there, like Taylor Swift and Adam Sandler, and just a taste of a few of those stars. Um, but we're gonna go in and see where we're gonna do our writing, uh, our writing workshop. So yeah, writing is great. Thank you. 
So yeah, he gave me a book, um, and he autographed it. He gave me lots of good advice. Uh, he's just a, he was an awesome person. Um, overall, yes, great. That was a great morning. Um, but yeah, we gotta be back here at the, uh, the Blood and Fire, the Salvation Army, by 2.20, so we can do our writing, um, um, writing workshop. I don't know how that's gonna go. I suck at writing, personally, but hey, I, I wanna write my own final project and film, so maybe there'll be some, maybe there'll be some good tips in there and good, uh, things, but right now, uh, me and Keith are gonna go find a restaurant or a cafe so we can eat. And yeah, because I'm hungry, didn't eat much this morning. Had like a banana and my cloth bar. But yeah. Just had uh, Chick-fil-A. 10 out of 10 would recommend. It's coming to Canada soon. Uh, coming to Edmonton and Calgary as well. Um, the chicken's just so good. It's just a different flavor. It's sweet and the sauce is so good. And Brian is trying it for the first time. I just had my first bite ever and I am in heaven. <laughs> yes. Holy moly. Right? <laughs> it's got like a sweetness. That's phenomenal. It's right? it, it beat Popeyes. Yeah. It beat Popeyes, guys. So uh, be on the lookout for uh, Chick-fil-A coming to Canada. So just got out of Chick-fil-A. Uh, now we're just on our way to search for a cafe because I would like a herbal tea and Keisha would like a coffee before our writing, um, writing thing. So. Here at the, uh, it looks like a dance studio. And this is where we're doing our writing uh, workshop. So, yeah, everyone's doing uh, homework and working on their scripts. Um, but yeah, Lisa's just playing piano. It's a pretty good, cool space. They look like they do ballet in here. Uh, yeah, I have my my tea, which I should get. Uh, it's a small and it's herbal. Yeah. Oh, it's pretty tasty. Um, but yeah, after this we have a little bit of free time. Uh, we get to do whatever, um, whatever museum slash gallery we want. Um, but yeah, Apollo was great. Uh, we get to go there again later tonight for a show. Um, you kind of saw the set that they're doing. They're, it's like a musical, so it should be should be fun, fun and jazzy. And then, yeah, I should have brought my homework um, because there's not a lot of opportunity to do that. And I need to find a charger because um, my phone's at like 35 percent, and hopefully I can get the footage the footage in. So. Should be a fun workshop. I'm excited to see what techniques to learn. I uh, get to learn. Just ended uh, writing, and uh, it was a good workshop. We ended up writing our own scripts, um, and then we had people reading for us, and it went really well. Uh, got a few tips about writing, and yeah, it should be should be great. Uh, my phone's about to die, so I might not end up filming some things. But yeah. Well, thanks. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, the, the writing workshop went awesome. Uh, got me motivated to write more and do better on my my uh, my final project. So yeah, it should be great. Uh, I think we're all going to get something to eat. I think, and then go to the show at Apollo Theater, which you've already seen. So.
so it was another awesome, awesome day in New York. Uh, loved every minute of it. Um, yeah, first the walkthrough of the Apollo was incredible. Uh, Billy sharing his story and how he became who he was in the theater. He came from nothing and he happened to like step into this theater by accident. And then he grew up, they grew up in that theater. And it's amazing. I got a book and a signature, signature uh, talked to him for a little bit. He took a video for us and just an amazing guy. I'm gonna read his book while I'm here. And then we went to the writing workshop and that was incredible too. I got so much inspiration to do more writing. And yes, I wanna write uh, short films and maybe put it on this channel for you guys, um, but I don't think I'm going to do that until I'm done school. Uh, the first film will probably be my final project, and you'll see that next year. And then we went to go see a show at Apollo, which was <laughs> um, loud, really, really, really loud, but it was so enjoyable. Uh, it was not nothing I was expecting at all. Uh, as you saw, there was a bunch of performers and singers. Um, the the show it was a um, Apollo amateur night, which they've been doing it since it opened in the 30s, um, or even later. I don't know. But yeah, like a while ago, they started this talent show kind of thing, and there was there was some young young ones at the beginning. Uh, my favorite was that girl on the piano singing. She had just she was 12 years old, guys, and she could sing just incredible while playing on the piano. Like, talent out of this world that most people can't even do, and she's 12. So, a lot of these people I know have futures. And the way this, this thing, this show worked was the audience was really involved, and each performance, the crowd, if they liked them, they cheered, yeah, 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 yeah. And if they, they hated it, they got bo literally booed off the stage. And some people got, like, yeah, they, they ripped them a new one, some of these guys. <laughs> it was like a Roman circus. But, uh, but yeah, it was, it was incredible. It was really, the only thing I didn't like was some of the stuff was so, so loud, like ear piercing. And it was hot. So, so, so hot. Uh, but yeah, walked around Town Square again. Um, uh, yeah, Haley. Um, but yeah, it was it was a great, another great, great day in New York. Uh, tomorrow, I have a workshop in the morning dealing with falls and all that kind of stuff. And uh, what I heard from my girlfriend that she came here on another school trip and she did that and she said her whole body so, uh, not excited for that, if it's true, but, you know, uh, maybe one day I would like to be a stunt devil in a big movie, you know, but I like that kind of stuff, like stage combat and falls, and I'm just apparently naturally good at it, um, but from what I heard from my classmates anyway, but yeah, it was another amazing day, guys, um, thanks for watching, um, smash that like button subscribe please please subscribe and share and i'll see you in the next one